I'm rising to speak against Senate Bill 7. In opposition, please proceed. I beg your pardon? In opposition, so yes. please proceed. <clears throat> against opposition to 755. Um, Mr. Speaker, it's, this bill has been portrayed um, by a Pritchett cartoon titled, Damn the Environmental Laws, Full Speed Ahead. And basically, I think that what he has done with a single cartoon is capture exactly what this bill does. Uh, you take a look at the committee report, which is very well written. I have to give um, credit to the um, vice chair of Water Land, who I understand was the principal author of the committee report. And it goes on about how the purpose of the bill is to promote economic development by temporarily removing regulatory restrictions. Regulatory restrictions refer to environmental laws. To the expeditious construction of certain state and county projects. In other words, those pesky environmental laws get in the way of moving ahead with state and county projects. So let's temporarily, for about a five-year period, set them aside. And then the conference committee report goes on and talks about how don't worry about it because there are federal laws, basically, that cover all of these different um, areas. And it goes through and lists them all, the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, federal EIS, FAA permits, et cetera, um, Federal Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, federal water pollution, and it goes on and lists them, Federal National Historic Preservation Act, um, Marine, Federal Marine Mammal Protection Act, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on and lists in detail all of the different federal laws that really are going to cover these projects that are then going to be exempt from state law. But actually, the federal laws don't cover everything that Chapter 343, which is our environmental impact statement law, they don't cover everything that Chapter 343 does. And basically, they only cover projects with federal funds. Now, we don't always do things on a state and county level with federal funds. So when you're talking about state projects without federal funds, then we're exempting those from environmental protection, and yet the federal laws won't come in and cover those projects. In addition, your federal, and this I believe that our Big Island representative will care very much about, as will others in this body, the federal laws are weak on cultural issues. Our state laws aren't, because they're particular to Hawaii, and we realize the importance of cultural issues. There isn't duplication, Mr. Speaker. So when you talk about pesky environmental laws, the conference committee report seems to make it sound as if everything is in duplicate. Why do we have to have it um, in duplicate? Why can't we just eliminate the state Thielen portions? On the, well, on the, it's Representative not Thielen, on behalf of the chair, could I correct you? This is not a conference committee report. It's a Sorry, standing committee report. Sorry, I apologize, report. the committee report. Thank you. The committee report seems to appear to say it's all duplication, so we don't really need it. Well, I've explained to you if it's a state project without federal funds, then we're not talking about federal law that will come into play. But you don't have to do things twice. There's certainly the way that the agencies have worked together to make sure that you don't have the duplication. There's another issue that seem, is of great trouble, and that's when you turn to part five to temporarily um, authorize a streamlined process for exempting state projects from chapter 343. That 
issue that bill was never heard in the Senate, to my knowledge, and yet it is coming forth here in the chapter five, part five of the bill. Mr. Speaker, it's um, a bill that says basically Representative Johnson. Mr. Speaker, I'll yield my time. So ordered, please proceed, Representative Thielen. That it says basically, as Pritchard put it in his cartoon, damn the environmental laws full speed ahead. And then it shows some legislators sitting in the boat that is titled SB 755. And the legislators are saying, we're exempt. Rules are for others as the boat goes moving ahead. It's um, an amazing bill, Mr. Speaker, that captures all of the exemptions in one vehicle and then in a standing committee report, and thank you for the correction, in a standing committee report just tries to justify that in nine pages saying it's duplication. You don't need it, it's all taken care of, it's taken care of by other laws. Well, that's incorrect. And then the basic issue is, do we want to exempt state and county projects from the SMA, the Special Management Area, and from Chapter 343? And what is the justification for doing that? If it's such a valid thing to do, why are we only doing it for five years? Why don't we say instead, okay, 30 years ago and 37 years ago, those two laws were put into place. If we're finding them to be inconvenient, why don't we just eliminate them? Why this five-year hiatus? Why not just say, hmm, too much trouble, too much problem, get rid of 343, get rid of the SMA, Special Management Area, and let's let the projects just go ahead. We won't have a five-year hiatus, we'll have forever. And then as to the cultural analysis that we like to have go on in our state, that's an inconvenience. Just eliminate that requirement. And basically this is what the bill does damn the environmental laws, full speed ahead, and I think that that should be the revised title of the bill, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much.